Maximize your skills with rudimental drumming at schoolofsuperdrumming.com. The link is in the description. With the first phase of the book report grid, you're going to play a total of four different patterns. For pattern number one, the accent is going to fall on the first partial, and on the first partial is going to be a diddle. So you're going to accent the diddle. And if you go into count number two, it gets a little tricky because before you accent the diddle, you're going to play another diddle on the fourth partial of count number one. So you got to be careful with that. Pattern number two has the accent falling on the second partial and you got to be careful with a couple of parts because on the first partial is that diddle. So right after you play that diddle, you're going to play the accent note. So it might be a little awkward and then it could get a little more awkward because of the flam note in the third partial. So right after you play the accent, you're going to play the flam notes on the third partial. So be careful with both of the parts. Pattern number three, you're going to play the accent on the third partial, which means you're going to accent the flam note. And right after you accent that flam note, you're going to go right into a diddle note on the fourth partial. So that part might be a little tricky, especially because it's on the same hand. You're flaming and you're playing the diddle off the same hand and the flam is an accent note. So it could get really awkward. So be careful with that. Pattern number four has the accent falling on the fourth partial alongside the diddle, which means you're going to accent the diddle. And right after you accent the diddle, going into count number two on the first partial, it's another diddle note, and it's not accented. So it could get a little awkward there. Just be careful. Going into phase number two, you're going to play each of the patterns two times, and each of the patterns is going to fit into one measure and with a total of four measures you're going to repeat all of it for phase number three you're going to play each of the patterns one time and each of the patterns are going to fall into one count so there's going to be a few tricky things you got to watch out for especially for one being that the patterns is basically a paradiddle so you got to watch out for changing the sticking no matter wherever the accent falls on the partials, you don't want to change the sticking in general. If you look at count number four, the accent falls on the left hand because of the sticking. So theoretically, it should feel natural when you're doing these accents. And if you look at the next measure, it's the same thing as the previous measure. So basically, you're doing it four times total when you include the repeats. Like this video and subscribe to the channel. If you want full access to over 500 videos of stick tricks, rudiments, and exercises, sign up today at schoolofsuperdrumming.com. The link is in the description.